Hi guys, welcome back to Code Master Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, on yesterday, I left with you three ICD-9 CM questions with multiple choice answers, and I asked you to help me convert them to ICD-10. So let's look at these questions and see how well you did. Let's minimize my box, put me down in the corner, and let's look at them. So the first one said, in converting ICD-9, I realize these multiple choice questions are ICD-9, but we're converting them to ICD-10. So this patient is admitted with a left ankle fracture. The patient also has AIDS with Kaposi sarcoma of the skin. Bringing your coding rules into play. Normally, your AIDS codes, I know by the guideline, always goes first unless the reason for the visit is not an age-related condition. This left ankle fracture was not due to the AIDS. Therefore, I can code that condition first. So in this case, if I look up fracture, main term, and then go to ankle, I get S82.89. It gave me nine and I had to specify that it was of the left, which is two, and then this code required a seventh character, initial visit, so it's A. Remember the default is always initial unless they state that is subsequent or any of the other seventh possible characters. Then now, because the patient has AIDS, I can add the AIDS codes as well as the condition, Kaposi sarcoma, the C46.0. How'd you guys do? All right, look at question number two. Patient was admitted with abdominal pain. The needle biopsy of the liver reveals secondary malignancy of the liver. The patient has an exploratory laparotomy to determine the primary site. The primary site is unknown at, this, at the time of discharge. This gets a little deeper as far as the neoplasm codes, but again, this patient is coming in with abdominal pain. And the procedure, the biopsy, revealed secondary malignancy of the liver. So that's the reason for the abdominal pain, which justifies the reason for the admission. Therefore, if it's liver, it, it metastasized to the liver, when I go to main term liver and identify it as a secondary site, I get 787, 70, C78.7. But as with any secondary malignancy, you always need to identify the primary. But it says here, primary site is unknown at this time. So then I have to code this as unknown primary site. And that's C80.1. And normally in this case, I would use a CPT code for the procedure. But right now we're worried about ICD-10, converting ICD-9 to ICD-10. And it would be somewhere in that laparotomy, exploratory laparotomy in the 49,000 series. All right. And then the third one says, patient is admitted with sickle cell anemia with crises. So this person's in some pain right now. They're actually going through a pain crisis because of their sickle cell anemia. And sickle cell is a type of anemia. But when you look up main term anemia, it'll tell you C, disease. Even if you just go to sickle cell, it'll tell you C, disease. Um, and then identify sickle cell, but make sure you identify it as with crises. And so this one was a quicker one. The main thing that code with this one was a D57.00. Okay, guys, how did you do converting these from, well, they're ICD-9, but we're not even worried about the ICD-9 multiple choice questions anymore, or possibilities rather anymore. We're just reading the scenario and identifying it or coding it with ICD-10 CM codes. Okay, guys, hope you're doing well on these. Any you have a question on, make sure you email me or let's comment below, bring others into your discussion and let's continue to talk about these. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow with three more additional questions. And if you have any along the way, keep the, let's keep this discussion flowing. Okay, guys, thanks. I'll see you in the next one.